Welcome back to Algo.js. Today's question is leak code 18 for some. So we're given an array of numbers of integers, return an array of all the unique quadruplets such that A, B, C, D are greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to N. All the values need to be distinct and all the values need to add up to equal target and we can return them in any order. So firstly, this is just an alteration of the free sum problem, which I'll add a link to in the description so you can go check that out before carrying out this question. Otherwise, let's dive into the solution. So just like the free some problem what we're going to be using is a two pointer technique to the extreme and in order to use that technique it requires the input array to be sorted so let's first go ahead and do that so what i mean by taking the two pointer technique to the extreme is within this question we are going to be using four pointers so the first pointer is initially going to be set at zero the second pointer is going to be set at i plus one the third pointer is going to be set at j plus one and the final pointer is going to be set at the last value within the sorted array now from this we can see that i can only go up to this value because j and k will fill these values and j can only go up to this value right because k is going to fill this value so when creating the for loops we know the endpoints of i and j now all we're going to do is add up these values see if they're equal to the total if they are we're going to populate a result array and we're going to carry on iterating through this array so let's see how this will play out k is less than l so we can carry out the addition so minus two plus minus one plus zero plus two that is minus one is that equal to zero the total no it's not so because this array is sorted we know that whatever values are on the right of k are either equal to or greater than k so we can increment k at this point so k is incremented now as we can see this value is the same as the previous value so we can skip this one for now k is still less than l and we have minus two minus one one and two this is equal to the total we can now push these values into the result array but here's the catch what happens if we have two values in between this one and two equaling one and two well if we move k along and we move l back because we've reached a solution where t is equal to zero we have reached another point where we have the exact same values as our previous step. And as it said in the question, the quadruplets need to be unique. So at this point, what we need to do is check if the next value of k, which is this one, is equal to the current value of k, then we need to increment k twice to skip this value. And likewise, we need to check the value of l, see if that's equal to l minus one. That's the case. Then we need to skip that value by decrementing l by two. That way we can avoid duplicates. But as you can see in this solution, that is not the case. Now at this point k would be incremented by one and l would be decremented by one and k would no longer be less than l so what happens here well we increment j by one and then k is equal to j plus one and we repeat the process so is k less than l yes it is so we add up the pointers minus two plus zero plus zero plus two is equal to the target of zero so we can push these values into res now because these values are equal to the target we have to both increment k and decrement l but first we need to check if the next k value is equal to the current k value if it is we skip it and we also need to do the same for l's previous value comparing it to the current value of l if they're the same we skip it so k and l land on the same point k is no longer less than l so we increment j we add these values up we can see they don't equal the target and there's nowhere else to move within this loop so now we increment i so i is set to the next value j is i plus one and k is j plus one so adding up these values of minus one zero zero and two is going to equal one right which is greater than the total so in this case we decrement l so l gets decremented we check the total of these four pointers this is equal to the total of zero so we can add this into res at this point we check k's next value and l's previous value and see if they're equal to the current values of both pointers if they are we skip them but in this case we don't have to worry about it then these loops will carry on iterating through the remaining numbers but for this question this is the output we need so the time complexity for this one is going to be o n cubed because we have two for loops for i and j and then we have a while loop which is concerned with k and l and then space is going to be o of n where n is the length of the sorted array we created at the start so let's dive into the code so let's start off by sorting the nums array Let's initialize the result array. So if nums.length is less than four, there's no way of populating quadruplets. So we can just return an empty array. Then we need to loop through where i is equal to zero. i is less than nums.length minus three here, because remember j, k, and l all sit in front of i. Then we have another loop where j is equal to i plus one. j is less than nums.length minus two. Then we get the next two pointers. So k is equal to j plus one, and then l is equal to nums.length minus one. So while k is less than l is what we're going to do. So we're going to add up all the values of the pointers. So nums at i plus nums at j plus nums at k plus nums at l. And we check if this is equal to the target. If it's not, what we're going to do if sum is less than target is we're just going to increment k. 
if it's greater than target, we're going to decrement L. Now, if the sum is equal to the target, we need to push into res an array containing those values. So numbers at i, numbers at j, numbers at k and l. Then we can increment k and decrement l, right? Because sum equals target, so we have to increment the k pointer and decrement the l pointer. But before we do that, we need to check for those duplicates. So while numbers at k is equal to numbers at k plus one, if that's the case, then we need to increment k. We also need to do the same for l. So while numbers at l is equal to the previous value, so numbers at l minus one, because l is going backwards, then we decrement l. And that will solve the problem of duplicates for k and l. Now, what I didn't mention in the walkthrough is that we may also have the same issue with j and i. If that is the case, we just need to have a while loop which compares the current value of j with the current value of j plus one. If that's the case, we increment j to avoid duplicates. And then also we need to do the same for i. So while numbers at i equals numbers at i plus one, then we need to increment the i pointer. Then we can finally return res. Let's give this a run. Submit it. And there you go. If you like the content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out with the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.